Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on filter design. The previous discussion on the filter design, I actually mentioned that I actually want to discuss how can we actually design a low-pass filter on microstreet line. Okay, beside Richard transformation, we actually also need this, which is called a Karoda identity in order to fully transform all the lump element into microstrip line design. So this will be the objective for this video. I'm going to discuss how can we actually use this Karuda identity in order to make all these lump element transform to microstrip line. This will be the part 16 series discussion on the filter design. The rest of the early on discussion on the filter design, I have put the playlist under the description. So please take a look on those videos if you're keen to know more about filter design. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and also the subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. Okay, let's start by understanding what is a Karuda identity. Okay, in fact, this Karuda identity, there are a set of four equivalent circuits as shown over here. Okay, they are mainly used to overcome difficulties when we actually apply Richard's transformation directly. Okay, so keep this in mind. Karuda identity actually work together with Richard transformation. Okay, so as we are able to transform those series connection into parallel connection so that it can be easily implemented on a microstrip line. Okay, so this is in short why we need Karuda identity and also Richard transformation. The key objective is to simply convert all the series connected line into parallel connected line so that we can actually implement all this lump element onto a microstrip line. Okay, the filter design frequently use a ladder topology with an alternating series and shunt element. Okay, so I'm not sure whether you know what is a ladder topology, okay, but in short, for a microstrip line design in a lump element, okay, they actually has a alternating between series and shunt element. Okay, so basically they are actually make up of so-called a ladder topology. Okay, such circuit can be converted to all shunt components okay, with the first two identity. Okay, we can use this first two identity to convert all the series to all the shunt. Hence, Karuda identity can be used to overcome series connected line in order to implement parallel connected line onto microstrip design. Okay, so this is what I have mentioned earlier on. Mainly okay, for our discussion, we will be mainly focused on this first two. Okay, then the other two, okay, the third and fourth identities, okay, basically they allow characteristics impedance to be scaled down or up respectively. Okay, this can be useful trans for transforming impedance that are impractical to implement. Okay, so some impedance that may be too large or too small. Okay, we can use this third and fourth. Karuda identity in order to implement them. Okay, however, they have the disadvantage of require the additional ideal transformer. Okay, over here you can see that it may need some additional component such as an ideal transformer. Okay, hence this will increase the cost of implement it. In short, okay, the four Karuda identities are use redundant transmission line session to achieve microwave filter implementation by performing the following function. Okay, so there are three functions that we want to use this Karuda identity. Okay, first, Karuda identity physically separate transmission line stop. Second, okay, it used to transform series stop into shunt stop or vice versa. Okay, most of the case we are actually using this, we transform the series into shunt. Okay, we 
also able to change the impractical Z0 to a realizable one using this Karuda identity. Okay, so this is the three main function okay, why we need to make use of Karuda identity. Okay, the additional transmission line section are called unit element. Okay, I'll come to this what is a unit element and are lambda over 8 long at the cutoff frequency. Okay, the unit elements are tasks. Okay, basically compensate with the stops used to implement L and C of the prototype design. Okay, I come into an actual design. Okay, from here you can see that the capacity stop. Okay, so if you still remember from the Richard transformation, okay, when it's actually open circuit, okay, it can be actually represented by a capacitor if you still remember. Okay, so therefore the capacity stop in the diagram here, okay, it can be actually replaced by a shunt inductive stop on the other end of the lambda over 8 line with different values of characteristic impedance. Okay, let's zoom over these two diagrams in order to understand better. Okay, over here you can see that this is actually an open circuit. But when we actually transform them into using Karuda identity, on the other side they become short circuit. Okay, if you still remember for Richard transformation, open circuit represents a capacitor, while short circuit represents an inductor. So therefore over here, this is in fact the first Karuda identity so basically over here you can see that okay as i mentioned early on this is a capacitor okay it can be represented by an open circuit so this is a unique element okay as i told you that basically unique element they have the so-called unique one and basically they will not affect the performance of the filter in the frequency response okay they don't play any role okay which means that they are additional component that add on to the filter design Okay, they basically can be transformed over. Okay, so over here, this Karuda basically, as I mentioned earlier on, under the first Karuda identity, the, the key idea is to transform the capacitor into inductor. And I share with you earlier on, okay, for capacitor, it can be represented by an open circuit. And this is the unique element, which is represented by this green box here. So how they actually transform to a unique element Okay, again, you can see over here, this is a unique element. Okay, the value is exactly the same. And what next is, this is a short circuit, okay, which can be represented by an inductor. Okay, one thing I probably want to highlight, okay, so basically this is the Z2 and this is 1 over Z2. You probably can see that all the values are all identical, except this Z2 here. Okay, this is because of the Richard transformation. Okay, I have put over here in order to fully complete the discussion. Okay, if you still remember for C, okay, basically 1 over Z0 will be equal to the characteristic impedance over here. So for this case, it's the same. So since over here is 1 over Z2, so basically for this case, 1 over Z0, this becomes Z0. So therefore, this one becomes Z2. Okay, so this will be the discussion for Karuda identity. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to start the discussion on low pass filter design on micro strip line. Okay, like what I mentioned earlier on, okay, I actually need this Richard transformation and Karuda identity in order to fully discuss on the low pass filter on micro strip line. With this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for your strong support. See you guys. Bye for now.